Speech recognition is by no means a new invention. It essentially converts spoken words to text and has been doing it in some form or another since 1952. This week, we take a look at how two companies are using the technology. Novaris has come out with a voice recognition Android app called Speak and Go London. Simply say aloud any pair of stations or landmarks in the British capital and it'll tell you how to get from one place to the next. It will not only display the results, but using the Transport for London data will show the best available route in real time. We've had something like this working in the Tokyo area for, for a long time now. The difference is that this is particularly useful in, in London because there are so many delays and lines that are closed. Transport for London are very good in providing this, this information online so you can find the route that's appropriate for today when you're, you're travelling. We thought for the Olympics it would be particularly inappropriate to give the, uh, the venues of the sports that for, for people visiting London. Melvin Hunt is no stranger to voice recognition technology. He's been working in this field since 1974. He, along with a colleague, helped set up the UK research and development arm of Dragon Systems, which is now owned by Nuance, which brings us nicely to our next interviewee. Nuance powers the bulk of speech recognition apps like Apple's Surrey and Merriam-Webster, as well as Amazon's Price Check app. It's released a software development kit that will enable any mobile developer to make third-party apps using their technology. Really, it's been based on an upsurge of demand from, from the market. They've seen applications such as Siri that have added voice to, the, uh, to their application and, and made it a, a, a good user experience. And they've come knocking on our door asking to have access to that capability. So we decided that the best way to feed this appetite was to uh, enable a, a developer program. Through the mobile developer program, they get access to our dictation models and our web search models and our text-to-speech technologies, allowing them to differentiate their applications and add an innovation to uh, the, uh, the, the apps that they're putting out there in the market. In the US, the T-Mobile MyTouch 3G Slide and MyTouch 4G have a genius button, which lets you call, text, and email through a voice command. Nuance's John West gives us a quick demo. Yes. Hi, John. I'll see you in the pub in 15 minutes. Reply. Yes. Say your message. Okay, I'll see you then. Processing. Your message is... Okay, I'll see you then. Send the message. Yes. Sending message. So what you'll notice, it will read your text messages as they come in, in a hands-free mode. It will enable you to reply to those text messages and dictate a response, listen to that re dictated response, and then decide whether you, you want to send that without actually touching the phone. It allows you to di dictate emails, send text messages, get directions, uh, find local businesses and such things. So using not, not only the speech track technology, but the other technologies such as GPS and, and such like on the device. One of our major partners is particularly interested in using it in fridges, which I found very surprising. And they, they tell us that fridges are even more interesting than televisions for some reason. So yeah, apparently uh, people want to do it for those things. It won't be long before we go around dictating orders to everything around us, including our home appliances, and no longer just our spouses. Thanks for watching. I'm Leila Mackey, and see you next time.